Lift problems are commonly used to test a combination of Newton's first, second and third law. And we'll start with a man who is in air with a mass of 70 kilograms. We know that the net force acting on this man is only the force of gravity. We know that the force of gravity is the product of his mass and the gravitational acceleration. Mass of 70, gravitational acceleration of 9.8. So we know that the net force acting on this man is 686 newtons downward. And we also know that this man, as a result of the net force being the force of gravity, we know that this man would accelerate downward at 9.8 meters per second per second. We now look at the same man who is now placed or standing on the ground where his acceleration is zero. We know then that Newton's first law tells us that if the acceleration is zero, the net force must be zero, or Newton's second law also tells us that, and the net force then must be equal to zero, and we know that the net force in this case, if we choose downward as our positive direction, must be the force of gravity that is pulling this man downward minus the normal force that is pushing this man upward must be equal to zero. Force of gravity is therefore equal to the normal force, and since this man has the same mass, the normal force must therefore be equal to 686 newtons upwards, which explains why this man is not falling or sinking into the ground or lifting off the ground. Now, we can also look at this as a man who is standing on a scale. Essentially, if he's standing on a scale and his acceleration is zero, then the force that gravity pulls him into the scale with will be equal to the force that the scale pushes upward with, which means that the scale reading is essentially telling us what the normal force is. Now, if we were to place this man into a lift, what we would now be saying is there's still a force of gravity pulling him downward, and the reason why he is not falling is because the lift has cables that have a tension in them that is equal to the normal force. So we will often in lift problems use the normal force and tension interchangeably because they are the same thing. When we are told what the scale reading is, we are essentially being told what the tension is, and vice versa. So a common application of this, there are two of them. The first one is we are told that a man gets into a lift and still has a mass of 70 kilograms, and the lift starts to move, and the scale now measures 1,000 newtons. So we can clearly see that this man has a weight of 686 newtons, but the scale is now measuring 1,000 newtons which means that this lift must be pulling him upwards. They've told us the scale, which we know means the normal force, which we know also means the tension in that cable. So we are being told essentially that this man is being acted upon by a force that is pulling him upwards. We are going to declare upward as our positive direction here. And we can now say the net force acting on this man must be equal to his mass multiplied by the acceleration. The net force now is the tension of the cable that is pulling him upward minus the force of gravity that is pulling him downward multiplied by his mass and the acceleration that we are trying to find or have been asked to find. Tension we've been given, again tension and normal force here can be used interchangeably because of the way in which this floor of the lift is attached to the cable. Force of gravity we know remains the same no matter what motion this man is going through and his mass we were told was 70. So we can now solve for the unknown here to find that he is standing in the lift with an acceleration of 4.49 meters per second squared upwards. We again, we know that this is upward because the scale is measuring a higher value, which tells us that he is being pushed into the floor, which means an acceleration upward. The third way in which, or the fourth way in which this can come across, or the way in which it can be asked is now, we are told that the man is in a lift and the lift is accelerating downward at 5 meters per second. Important to note here that he is not accelerating downward at 9.8 meters per second, which means that there must be some force that is still pulling him upward, but it is not strong enough to overcome gravity. So we're going to choose downward as our positive direction here. We can say net force acting on this man is mass multiplied by the acceleration. Net force here is the force of gravity pulling him downward minus the tension force or the force of the scale and that is equal to his mass multiplied by the acceleration. Force of gravity we know 686. Tension is the unknown. 
the mass of this man is 70, acceleration is 5 meters per second, and so we can solve to find that the tension in that cable is 336 newtons. What that also tells us is that the man's scale reading, the reading that he sees on that scale while this lift is accelerating downwards, is 336 newtons.